getting things going. It took too long for us to, to figure out what we what we could do that would work. And I kind of wish we would have, the things that happened in the fourth quarter, if we could have got that uh, figured out in the, in the second quarter, it would have been better. But I mean, it, it took us. It, it, it takes a while sometimes to get to get into rhythms. And, and I, was, I was pleased to see. I, I think how that game ended there is going to be uh, going to kind of over paint over some some really good things that happened uh, in that fourth quarter. I thought that our guys uh, fought to the end. Um, I, I was impressed with with uh, how they stuck with it. And, uh, Andrew Perea was uh, it's the kind of the game we've been waiting for. 455 yards. He throws three touchdowns. He did throw two interceptions, but uh, we're kind of waiting for this and had some great passes. Yeah, we um, we thought that maybe Vince Beasley and, and some of those receivers could, could do some things, and um, we felt we felt really good about it. We felt like our believe it or not, our protection has improved quite a bit from where we were at earlier in the season to where we're at now. And, some games it hasn't shown up very well, but today um, we protect them well and uh, giving them enough time. And we just got a really strong arm, and so we can uh, make some plays. Vince Beasley here on Senior Day. He catches a couple of touchdown passes, finished with 155 yards. And Corel Kulmus, another uh, bright spot as well, six catches for 162 yards and one touchdown. And nice to see those two guys, especially Vince here on Senior Day. Yeah, I'm happy for him. He's a, He's worked so hard for so long. I mean, he sat as a, as a backup for a while, and, and he's really came out strong this year. Good leader, good team, first guy. And, and happy to be able to do that. Tyson Coyne, well, everybody knows how special he is. You guys get a lot of pressure in the backfield, but there's only so much you can do in certain situations. I mean, he's just so good at placing the football. One-on-one -on -one coverage into, into the traffic still makes a play. How frustrating is that? Oh, it's extremely frustrating. I mean, when you have a third and ten, you give up. We had a third, 15 a couple times. It, it, it's frustrating. He's a good player, and uh, they're going to be really tough to contend with in the playoffs. So, obviously, Grady Cook has only played two games this year, but when he's in the game, you're able to establish you know, the good pass protection and start playing the football. Well, how key is it to get us another tackle back for the next year? It's, it's, it's everything. Um, you know, our, our two games that we've had Grady Cook at right tackle have been our two highest out, output of uh, yards on the season. I mean, it's everything always is about the offensive line. Uh, I don't care what scheme you're running, you're going to be played as well as your offensive line is going to allow you to. Um, you know, today we protected better and we were able to get some things going in the second half. It's just you know, we're sick about the loss, and, um, but, but we have some things to build on. Last 40 minutes of the game, score 28 points. Yeah, it was good to see some things start to click. Just really, just it, you, you do the could have, would have, should have, you know, and, and you can just drive yourself crazy doing that because we really uh, have missed a lot of opportunities in the red zone this season. And, um, you, know, you go back and hindsight's 2020, but um, it, it was, it's always, it, it's always a little frustrating when you know how much you're leaving out there. And offensive and defensive, and how many things that we're, we're close to, but we're not quite um, executing. Darius McVeigh and Xavier Jackson have been stepping up in the secondary as of late. McVeigh today, one interception, nine tackles. What's allowed him to progress this season and become the player he is? Well, I mean, he's he's stuck with it. I mean, he's been in and out of the starting lineup. Um, some guys uh, might might crumble after, you know, like, hey, I'm in this week, and now I'm out. And, he, he, he's got a positive attitude. He's really positive, yeah. So um, he just he just rolls with the punches. And, um, he's, he's he's got a lot of burst to him. He's, he's really quick in and out of cuts. And so he, he's got a lot of skill there. But he's got a lot of room to grow too. I mean, he can he can improve a lot. He knows how. And uh, we're excited. He's a sophomore. And X is a freshman. And, and so we're. Regular season comes to an end next Saturday. You guys head down the road to a, a, a what called maybe a rivalry game with uh, Doan University. And uh, certainly, what are you telling your team heading into that final game? What do you look for? Oh yeah, we're, we're going to look for. <laughs> we're going to look to do what we did in the fourth quarter of the entire game. I mean, we, I, we, we haven't thought much about Doan. We broke that a little bit from on, on Friday. Uh, we're, we're trying to take things one week at a time. We're emptying the tank on every week. Uh, so we poured everything into this game and, and 
Dome, Dome will be a good game, obviously. It's a rivalry game. Uh, we want to win that for sure. Um, it's, it, it's, uh, it's all about playing well up front and executing on the offensive line. If we can do that, I'll have a shot. There's things going up.